Record pickups number six. Definitely right this time, I promise. And this time we have the Devon Townsend project, EpiCloud or EpiCloud or EpiCloud. EpiCloud, EpiCloud, EpiCloud. I don't know. Um, they both sound good. Yes, I've been looking for this record for quite some time now. Um, Devon Townsend project releases are really hard to come by. I don't think they're particularly that limited run. I just think they're highly sought after by fans. Fans of Devon Townsend seem to be mega fans, myself included. So I think this is my fifth Devon Townsend record at this point. I've got Terrier, I've got Z2, uh, Cloud Blue, I think it's called a Blue Cloud, or Blue, Blue Sky, Sky Blue, that's the one. What else do I have? Oh, casualties of cool as well, but I'll show that off in another video. I'll show them all off in another video. I'm rambling, I'm ranting, it's not going well already. Either way, I'm very, very happy to have this one. There are coloured variants of this one. I managed to snag a black one, just standard black, which is fine, because supposedly, now I'm not fully on board on this, the um, black vinyl record sounds better than coloured vinyl or particularly picture disc because black is its natural colour, which I don't think is true at all. I think clear is actually vinyl's natural colour. I could be talking shit. In truth, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm rambling. So yes, Devon Townsend Project EpiCloud, double 180 gram black vinyl on gatefold. Look at them, they're beautiful. Look, Beeve had hair and and Ryan, which way am I going? He had this douchey mohawk going on. And and him, Dave had hair as well. I don't know what's going on. They all look better as eggheads. Anyway, I'm rambling again. What the fuck is going on with this video? It's not going well, it's not going well. EpiCloud, vinyl, finally got it. It cost me 50 pounds, but I managed to get it brand new and it's one I've been wanting in my collection for quite some time. Now, EpiCloud is one of the most accessible Devin Townsend Project records on the whole. It's got very poppy vibes to it and poppy feels. Poppy feels! I'm rambling again! What I'm getting at is it's very easy to listen to. And although it's not my favourite Devin Townsend record, because it is very easy, and easy to listen to, it's one that I put on a lot. I'm quite weird with that actually. My favourite records I play very little because I'm very conscious of overplaying the same music. And if it's really, really good in my head, I tend not to put it on for fear of over listening to it, which means that I subsequently never listen to my favourite music. Although I do. Rambling again. Yes, Devin Townsend, EpiCloud. Did I mention that? Should we start this again? Vinyl Records <laughs> pickups number six, Devin Townsend, EpiCloud. Fucking really, really happy to have this one. It's a great fucking record and you should listen to it. I believe I already showed you the gatefold. Let's show you the back and the spine because we'll start doing that in these videos. Although there's probably going to be some lovely <laughs> overcuts. What was I saying? Yes, it's a good record. Hello, guys. This is episode six. This is. It's not episode six, there was, there's been more. But this is the, the, uh, the sick vinyl pickup. Should I just sit here? I'm gonna leave all of this in. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at the moment, but it's fucking staying in. Oh, I need some vodka. I'm calmed down a little bit now. De-stressed, it's the stress, it's the stress, it's the pressure, it's the camera, it's the lens. Stop looking at me. It's starting again, calm down. Devin Townsend Project, EpiCloud, fucking awesome record. I do have this on CD and have had it on CD since release and it's fucking killer. The CD, obviously I've got the limited edition version which comes with a bonus disc with a load of demos and songs that didn't make it to the full record. Can I get that to prop up? Can I get it to prop up? I got it to prop up. Well done me. That was simply for syncing the audio but we'll keep it in. It fits in at this point. The reason I'm telling you about the bonus tracks on that is because this doesn't have them. It doesn't have the bonus tracks and demos, but it does come with one vinyl exclusive bonus track. And the really weird thing about it, the album, EpiCloud, the track, EpiCloud, is actually the bonus track, which is exclusive to the vinyl, as far as I'm aware. I'm rambling again. Why the fuck am I rambling? Let's show you the fucking record. So unlike most records I've been showing recently, which just have plain white sleeves, these are lovely and have nice artwork on all of the sleeves and on the rear. Got the universe thing going on there. I think we're just going to start cutting this short. 
favourite tracks on this album are Kingdom, although it's not part of this album, you would have seen a lot. And I mean fucking tons of Music React videos, Devin Townsend's Kingdom at EMG Live, because it is fucking incredible. It was originally released on another album at some point. I can't remember which Devin album it is actually, because there's that many of them. We're talking 20, 30 of them. I, I love Devin, did I, did I mention that? But yes, Kingdom is fucking amazing. Save Our Now is fucking amazing. Lucky, Lucky Animals, Lucky Animals is the track that you should check out. If you want to get introduced to Devin Townsend and you're not overly familiar with metal, go check out Lucky Animals. It is incredibly catchy. And if you've got young kids, let them listen to that as well, because I guarantee they're going to be bopping along to it. In fact, I think it's scientifically proven, and I'm not kidding you, that that song will make them bop. If you want to see your kids bop, Lucky Animals. It's pretty tame. I'll put a link in the description. Fucking awesome track. Now, the standout track for the vinyl edition of this album is Where We Belong. The reason I say that is because it's quite mellow to start with, at least. Uh, very acoustic. Very acoustic. It is acoustic at the very beginning of the track. But on the CD release, you don't hear the synth behind the acoustic so much, whereas on the vinyl, it really elevates all those tones and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. Um, if you have already listened to this album and you're curious about that, I reckon you buy it just for that alone. It is a beautiful piece of music and it's just an incredible album. The whole thing's incredibly upbeat from start to finish. You have heavier moments, lighter moments, and the way that the tracks are ordered from start to finish, it's just got such a perfect flow to it. Uh, the first time I listened to this, the the very first track on it, just called Effervescent, yeah, Effervescent, um, it, it's just a choir, choral piece. It's cheesy as fuck, it made me cringe the first time I heard it, but now I listen to it and it just puts a massive smile on my face. It's, it's happy music. If you want to feel upbeat, listen to this record. Anyway, this is fucking killer and you should buy it if you can get hold of a copy, bear in mind it cost me 50 quid. I'm going to stop rambling now. This is fucking killer. There's too many notable riffs to mention. Maybe I'll overlay some. Anyway, cheers guys. Enjoy. <laughs> 